My name is Vanshika Dimri and I'm Indian, but I grew up all around the world. I spent some time in the UK, in Bangladesh, in India, and I joined BISP two years ago as an academic scholar. I am very, very passionate about medicine and anything related to science and technology, and I've been passionate about it for a long time. Um, but when I joined BISB and really integrated myself into all of the activities offered here, especially MUN and taking classes like HL English, I also realized that um, something that I'm really passionate about is politics. And um, when I started my own club, MedSoc, um, I was the founder and president, and I got to speak to people and teachers in school and realize how these two passions of mine integrate and overlap. It was really interesting to see how discussions in medicine and science are so strongly interlinked to politics and how we can sort of work with both of these different areas just to do better for humanity and to grow um, in the fields of technology and science. So that is my biggest passion. One of my talents is definitely public speaking and I was always very interested in debate. Um, I always participated in debate, but um, I think joining MUN was somewhere where I was really able to hone these abilities. Um, one of the best ways this was done was when our school attended Thai MUN, which is um, a very large event hosted in Bangkok where schools from all around Asia will come and take part in debate and discussion. And it was really nice that we got to attend um, I ended up also winning awards there. So that was just a really nice um, accomplishment. And some other talents of mine include doing a lot of research work. Um, one of the ways BISP really helped me develop those abilities was through projects such as the extended essay. There are a plethora of them that were especially created at this school, but I think the way I started my journey here was as an academic scholar as well. And that was a great um, achievement for me. I think my biggest role model in my life has been my dad. Um, he's always pushed me to try for new things and look, always reinstilled confidence in me even when I was unsure about how things would be. He actually also pushed me to apply to boarding schools outside of where I was living and that's how I ended up applying to this school. So yeah, my dad. My journey here started in 2023 and I was also in boarding full time. Um, when I was really scared to join a new school, especially um, in year 12, I was worried about how I would make new friends and how I would meet people. But I think boarding made that entire process so much easier. It was so lovely to be living with all of my best friends and meeting all of these amazing girls that were in our boarding house. and. Of course, the boarding um, parents, um, they provided so much support, um, especially when I was homesick, living away from my parents for the first time. I never felt alone because the BISB community is so closely knit. It, it always felt like I had family around. Um, and then I started with courses like HL Biology, Chemistry, and English. And while the IB can be exceptionally difficult at first, I think all the support that teachers and the university counseling team gave me made that process so amazing. And now that I look back on my journey, I think through all of the ups and downs, I really changed and grew so much as a person in such a short period of time. I think something that everyone always like faces as a challenge doing the IB, or especially just in high school in general, is time management. Um, when you're taking difficult courses or learning a new language, and you have all of this coursework and exams and like extracurriculars, it can be very difficult to find a way to balance all of these things together and also have time to like have time for hobbies and your other passions. So that was something that I struggled with a little at first because I felt like I was overloading myself trying to do a bit of everything. Um, but boarding lifestyle actually really helps with time management because you have designated times to study, to go out for dinner, to have prep where you can sit and talk to people. So I think um, having that fixed routine over the past two years really helped me manage my things um, and manage all of my extracurriculars and schoolwork just because there was already a designated time for me. I primarily grew up in cities, so again, living on an island was super different for me, but I think it is so beautiful 
especially when you're not in boarding and you have a bit more freedom and a bit more time to sort of go out and explore the island. You can go to the beaches, you can go to the mountains. It is just so breathtaking to be able to visit all of these places. And I think it was just so like amazing to me that I could finish school one day and sign out and go to the beach. And it was, it was just like being on holiday while you're at school. So absolutely amazing. And I think everyone that's living in a city right now or in different parts of the world should definitely apply to schools in a place where they wouldn't see themselves living. I wouldn't have seen myself living on an island. So, so I took this adventure early on and I'm really glad I did. Some of my favorite accomplishments here have been, like I previously mentioned, um, being part of MUN, like finishing the EE. Um, I actually think EE might have been my favorite accomplishment here because I was very, very nervous about doing a research project in biology and psychology. Um, it was really stressful at first managing that along all of my coursework, but with help from all of my teachers and my peers, I found that process to be so much fun when I actually got into it. I was able to make so many discoveries in science. Um, like I was researching different enzymes and how they correlated with different drugs used in the body, how that affects metabolism, how that would affect different regions, different people. So that was definitely my, like that was the best accomplishment ever. I eventually hope to work as a surgeon, um, a neurosurgeon. My next step is moving to Australia. I will be attending the University of Melbourne and studying theoretical maths and neuroscience. Um, so that's the next step for me. My best memory here would be living in boarding, like with my friends um, and then after prep time and after roll call towards like around 10 p.m. when we would have time to just sit and you can go into each other's rooms and just sit and talk about how your day's been. So it's so much fun, like it's amazing. I think the the, co the common advice that I would give to everyone was would be to just try everything, just try it. Um, there are so many activities offered at the school or even joining boarding or joining a different school you might not know if you'll like it, you might not end up liking it, but I think it's really important for everyone to just try as many things as you can. When I first came here, I, I didn't think that I would like tennis, like I didn't think, there, there were so many things that I didn't know I would like, but when I finally tried them, I learned so much more about myself and I really grew. So try as many things as you can. Thank you to everyone who helped me with my journey here. I'm, I've made some of my best friends and I've made some fantastic connections with all of the teachers and the staff. So I'm very, very grateful for this experience. So just thank you to everyone.